went through the Bible, and the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 16, the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. In other words, there's a witnessing spirit there that if I'm saved, there's literally implanted in me a new nature that identifies with the Holy Spirit of God, and there's a witnessing power there that I can't make up myself. Because all I had up to that point in time was religion, ritual, a bunch of do's and don'ts, which is religion. And you can name it whatever you want to name it, Catholic, Baptist, Independent Baptist, fundamental independent Baptist. If you have do's and don'ts there, folks, and you don't have Christ, all you have is religion, and I was on my way to hell. That's what I had. And God touched me, and He showed me. You know what He showed me? He showed me I didn't have the Holy Spirit. There was nothing there. I was dead in my pride and my arrogancy, and I was broken. And I had a choice. You know why I had a choice? God gave me that choice. God gave me the choice. And let me show you why. The choices, the choices of God. God made some choices. You understand what we experience and what we know about God? What we have in this Bible, God chose to give to us. He didn't have to. God chose creation. I must say that again. God chose creation. He didn't choose evolution. He didn't choose Big Bang. He didn't choose a mixture or an integration of either. He chose creation. You know what that is? God spoke and it existed. <laughs> I like that. God just spoke it. And you know what? That is the only part of creation that's scientifically proven. Anything else that the secular world and educational system, which we call educated stupid. Here it is. Here it is in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. Jump down to verse 19. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Isn't that interesting? With all the technology and everything that we have today, all the knowledge, all the universities, all the colleges, and, 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 and by the way, folks, education is a religion. Education is a process. I believe in education, don't get me wrong. But it depends on how you use education. Education without God in the center of it is educated stupid. And when we, when we take education without God in the center of it, we have a religion. We have a, we have a system that where we're trying to make ourselves smarter so we don't have to so we don't have to answer to a holy, righteous God who chose creation. Who chose to speak this world into existence. He put all the stars in its place. He's the one that allowed that big old telescope hanging up there in space right now to allow us to see a whole lot more of His creation. You know that? God chose that. He said one day, okay, I'm going to let you see a little bit more of what I made. And we can see gazillions of light years away now. This ginormous universe with gazillions. I can't even wrap my brain around the number. I can't even say the numbers. I'm not smart enough. But it's huge. And he puts us in this little suburb called the Milky Way of the universe. And if you see a picture of the Milky Way from this telescope, 
you'll see a little teeny tiny dot that if it's not even pointed out to you, you wouldn't even recognize it. And that little teeny tiny speck in that Milky Way is the Earth. And guess what? You're a speck on that speck. <laughs> this is awesome. And the Bible says <laughs> God holds this in his hands. <laughs> God holds all of that in his hand. And he planted us on that speck. God chose creation. God chose to create man, not evolve us, but to create us in his image. It's the only explanation that even makes sense, that has any kind of scientific proof that it's even possible for us to exist the way we exist other than the fact that God spoke it into existence. He made a choice about salvation, because you know why? <laughs> Man messed it up. You want to know why man messed it up? Because God gave us a choice. He gave them a perfect environment called the Garden of Eden there in Genesis chapter 3. The Garden of Eden, he gave them instructions on how to deal with that in the Garden of Eden. I don't have time to preach all that message, but man messed it up because God gave them instructions. They were in a perfect environment. You know what that means? That means there was no sin. There was no abuse, no drugs, no alcohol, no mom and dad fighting, no excuse, no excuses for the reason they made the choice that they made other than they made the choice that they wanted to make. They did what they wanted to do. And they chose the lie. And the Bible says, therefore, by, as by one man sin entered the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men for all have sinned. So here we are. <clears throat> We're in this, we have this sin nature that's passed down to us through the generations of time all the way back to Adam and Eve. Now, we all know that. But do you know what that means? <laughs> that means we're making the same choice that Adam and Eve made toward the same God that Adam and Eve faced. Same God. Same Word. Same Word of God. And we have that same choice in our lives today. God had to make a choice. He made the choice about salvation. God did that. <laughs> and I love this. Here we are in this ginormous universe in this little suburb called the Milky Way and we're just a little speck in that suburb. And you're just a little speck on the speck. And you know what God did? You know what God chose to do in order so that we might be made, have the opportunity to be made right with Him. So that we might have a choice. You hear this young person? So that we might, you might, I might have a choice to choose God. To choose to love Him. You know what He did? He sent His only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be a speck on the speck. It's like me driving on the back 40 of the ranch on the tractor. And I was back there mowing one day, and I went over this, <laughs> this big old hump. And I looked back, and there were ants going everywhere. I hit an anthill. Now, now this would be like me hitting this anthill. Now, I could give a rip about ants, you know? I would rather go down there with my ant bomb jump. <laughs> you know but this is what it's like it's like me hitting this anthill and I get this overwhelming compassion about these ants and I'm like man I just stirred up their life some of them I ruined their day I ruined their life and it'd be like me saying oh you poor ants you know I 
man, I care for you. I love you. I, 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 I want to help you. I'm not real sure how I can do that. And, and, and I want to be a part of your life. I want to understand your life. I want to be a part of you. It's impossible for me to understand an ant. Now, I could watch all the Discovery Channel shows I want to about ants, but I'm truly not going to understand that ant until I become the ant. Until I get her down there and crawl around in the dirt with them. You know what God did? You know what He chose to do? He chose to be the ant. He, was a, he became a speck on the speck, and here he is holding it all in his hand. And he chose, listen to me, he chose his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be a speck on the speck. So that he can connect with us folks, we have no excuse we have a God who knows exactly what we go through. He knows the addictions. He knows the temptations. He knows the sin. He knows what it feels like. It was all placed on Him as if we never did. God chose that. Look what He says here. I like to call this consider the cross. People call and they're hopeless in their situation. Vonnie called and said, Pastor, I don't think we're going to make it. The divorce papers are coming. But if he'll come to the ranch, I hold off. I told her, I said, Vonnie, Lance doesn't, he, he doesn't just need the ranch. He needs the Lord in his life. He needs Jesus Christ, number one, as his personal Savior. He needs, and you need, to consider the cross. Well, he's been to the re this rehab, that rehab. Lance calls me and says, I've been to this rehab, you know. I said, consider the cross. Consider the cross. Consider what that means. Consider what God chose for you and I. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish, it's foolishness. And you know what they you know what the world makes us feel like? Now, folks, I don't say this that we get angry at the world. We need to be we need to have compassion for the world. We need to have compassion for people that don't think biblical. Not get mad at them. Don't get mad at the homosexual. Don't get mad at the people that believe in abortion. You know what? Keep your political attitude in the background and let the love of, and the compassion of Jesus Christ become that ant. Don't want to spray them with your ant spray and just say, oh, if we get rid of the liberals, then uh, America will be hunky-dory again. Uh, you, you know what? The, the, the Republicans and the Democrats and whoever you want to call them, they're all in the bag together as far as I'm concerned. We have created the mess <laughs> that we see in America. And the, and the mess that I'm talking about is that our eyes are not on God anymore. They're not on Jesus Christ. God has chosen the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. What's he talking about? The foolishness. He's not talking about the method. He's not talking about what I'm doing right now. He's talking about the message. Preaching, giving out the message, consider the cross. This is God's choice. I hear this. This is not man's choice. This is not some thing that conjured up a gazillion years ago in the, you know, 100 A.D. or something, where some theologian came up with this process that we call Christianity and salvation today. This was God's choice. God's choice for salvation. Not just some organization. 